Yeah, Charlie's from here, but yeah. Shuton is uh, obviously obviously from uh, from Japan. Japan and yeah. He's just like, look, we don't win money at our tournaments. All right, right they so don't. I'm That's coming here to take yours. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I don't know how the conversion rate is. Actually, I think the uh, yen is worth more, if I'm not wrong. Is so it really? I think. Huh. I think it's like like 15 more cents or something like oh, that. Okay, so nothing. Too, well, I'm not gonna say nothing too crazy, but yeah, def That's, definitely. Yeah, yeah I'll that, take that that's all something day. free. All right, but either way, going to go into this next game. And we got MK Leo versus Mr. Hard. That's right. This is going to be a crowd favorite right here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Man. Oh, gotcha. oh. But, yeah. Um. Okay. But, yeah, like you were saying, though, it's definitely going to be a treat. Um, you know, obviously, MK Leo and Mr. R, two very uh, world renowned gentlemen. Um, and the great thing about this is that we, this is uh, one of those rare instances where we get to see. And later in bracket, you know, two guys from two different countries, uh, you know, crossing paths here on the stakes. So obviously, MK Leo has been doing phenomenal here in Smash Ultimate. Mr. R has been a little quiet, but that's not to say that you got to sleep on this uh, this gentleman. Mr. R has been doing work, been doing damn good work too, mind you, since the very beginning of his Smash career. Obviously, he's looking to keep it up here in Smash right. Ultimate. I don't believe he's playing. I don't know if he's still playing Sheik. I, he's I, Inkling, I believe. Inkling, okay. Yeah, I think I commented on one of his sets yesterday, and he went Inkling. If I'm not crazy, okay. I might be crazy. We'll find out. I would, yeah, honestly, to commentate, you have to be a little crazy. You're okay. not wrong. Okay, so he is Inkling. I am sane. Let's get it. Okay, not really. But right. <laughs> either <laughs> right. way, uh, yeah, Mr. R, I was going to say, I'm glad that he's feeling better because we know that he was having like some health issues and he had visa issues, but he overcame all of that to get out to these tournaments for us, and we, we appreciate that. We I'm respect that. Always appreciative of it. You know, you know, these international players, like, I don't think people realize how hard it is for them to come over here consistently. Like, think about how often, like, we have to travel to other countries uh -huh. for commentary, like, get on my level and things like that. Like, you know, it's it's once every so many months, you know, maybe twice a year, you know, if we're lucky. But these guys are doing that nonstop. And it's always a mix-up because you can get caught in customs and they're like, you know what, fam? Right. I don't feel like you need to come over here. <laughs> like, yeah, I remember man. back at the Big House 5, like, Leffen, he was really struggling, like, back in 2015 to make uh, make waves over here just because he was having visa issues. So next time, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you see your uh, favorite international player, you thank them, okay? Yeah, give them an extra handshake. Well, fist bump them because germs. Come germs, on. germs, germs. <laughs> but here we go. We got Marth and Inkling. And it's so hyped to see MK Leia pulling out the Marth. He's been dropping some Twitter combos we were, uh -huh. you know, checking out lately. Yes. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to see what he can do right now. That's right. One of the few, um, the few players, too, that live up to their Twitter combos. Like, you ever yes. see somebody that got, like, 30 followers on Twitter, and they drop a Twitter comment like, man, look at this. Like, yeah, that was cool, but, you know, I don't think that's very <laughs> optimal. Then yeah. you got guys like MK Leo like, no, actually, I'm going to do this to somebody in bracket. That's the whole thing about getting better, too, is don't try to lab out those zero-to-death combos nope. that are super situational. you got to lab out how are you going to get that first hit to start up that Free. combo. For real. You know, because otherwise you're drowning in pools, and you never even got to do that in the first place. So. That's right, man. You got the flash before the fire. You, right. you, need, you need the fire. <laughs> but, okay. yeah, definitely MK Leo is someone who's going to do that for us. And Mr. R, we don't see too much Inkling. I remember when this game first came out, we were all like, oh, my God, Inkling's busted, Roller, this, that. I yeah. still hate Inkling myself. But we haven't seen enough of it. We only got, like, Cosmos, but now Mr. R, he's trying to come up and show us what's up. Yes, you know, we've been seeing um, we've been seeing some okay Inkling rep uh, representation. Obviously, like you said, Cosmos. I know Dyer's dropped Diddy right. Kong for, for Inkling and so on and so forth. You know, a lot of people do feel a type of way about this character. But one thing's for sure, though, this damn character is here to stay. So let's see what we <laughs> get right here, man, as we move into this first game. All right, we got all that ink on the board already. And as you know, you're going to take more damage, more knockback when you have a ton of ink on you. Yes. But Mr. MK Leo, not scared at all. Most people will opt to back off so that they don't take too much extra damage while they have the ink. MK Leo's still in his face. Yeah, I think he's very confident in his uh, his Marth play. I think he understands that, you know what, as I'm taking a lot of percent, I can make up this percent too if I space my tippers. And chances are, when it comes to Marth, nobody spaces tippers quite like MK Leo. So I think he's kind of feeling himself here. Very true. And he just swung that neutral be right in his face, trying to shield break yes. uh, real quick. But Mr. R going to drop and only take a little bit of percent. For it. Oh, oh reading the roll, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Roller and Force Smash. Yes, maybe taking all that ink as we kick things off wasn't the best option in the world. Let's see yeah. how this plays out, though. Goes for Dancing Blade once more. Goes for all the swings, too. I thought, wow. you know, typically, like, the first couple don't hit. You see them either try to delay the last one or just, like, dip out the situation. Exactly. But MK Lil getting a little overzealous here, and I can't say I'm upset about it. He didn't get punished a single time for it, so, yeah, I don't blame him, man. Oh, that forward tilt knocked him so far away, and now the edge guard situation being set up. He can come from so low, though, yeah, and MK Lil not going to be able to time that punish. Uh-huh. But and another then, opportunity. Okay, the short hop there off the ledge of stage. That's going to force him to have to snap ledge and then stand in place. The Nair, I think he was using Nair there to try to catch a high recovery. But yeah. regardless, Mr. R finds himself back onto the stage. And damn, he's putting on some good percent up close. Yeah, did you see Mr. R swing that force smash right there? It came out so quick, man. Mm -hmm. But quickly taking 50% on the second stock. Got to close this one out. Uh-oh, gets caught Whoa. again. 
I'm not sure if that shield poke, because the bomb exploded on his shield and the roller, it hits very low, so I possibly could have shield poked right there and uh -huh. got him. Okay, using Dancing Blade there to kind of shake him up, but I don't think Mr. R is quite afraid of Dancing Blade as, as what he uh, as he might have been in the beginning of the match. As you see right here, he's doing a much better job outspacing Marth, which is something you don't hear very, oh my god, very <laughs> often. I thought he wasn't going to snap. Yeah, me neither. What the hell? He was turned the wrong way and everything, but MKLeo, man, he got that plot armor. I'm going to stay in this and get this edge guard opportunity. Okay. Oh. Not able to get anything out of it, though. Oh, oh yeah, you're dead. Man. See ya. Yeah, and you know, that's the thing about Mr. R. He knows exactly when he can go for a forward smash, and before you saw him hit the down air, he can see the match that's coming through and get it, but MKLeo can also see that forward smash and try to close things up just a little bit. That's right. Wonderful stuff right there, man. I like those first two stocks to really get to him. You're going to have to stay grounded here. <laughs> no pun intended right now right. as he's being taken off stage, but uh, yeah, you definitely have to play grounded here versus Mr. R. See, the fact that he's played uh, Sheik for so many years in Smash 4, I I'm starting to see that kind of shine through in his ultimate right. play style. He's very precise with his combos. He doesn't go for like some crazy overextensions exactly. or anything like that. He's going for what is going to work. And whatever doesn't Ooh. work, he's not effing with. Directional air dodge, you're oh, dead. Oh my god, he had no options in that situation. The ledge coverage was beautiful. And he you saw him throw that bomb up so that he would be covered for him to drop down and get the forward air yes. and knock him off for the second time. Now see, I don't want anybody to think that because, you know, MKLeo kind of got bopped right there that Marth isn't good. Marth is, Marth is still very good. Um, it's just when you're playing against a character like Inkling who has these really good tools into stopping Marth in his tracks, you have to make sure you have to make sure every exchange matters that much more. Yeah, like yeah. you cannot allow yourself to just keep racking up all this crazy damage and then you don't find the KO option. Like and you have to space your tip as well. Right. Like that's the that's the issue with Marth that you hear all the time. If people are in your face, you cannot space your tippers. So it, it just makes you be like, I'm gonna go Lucina. Yes. But a player like MKLeo, he has that spacing down, but I don't know if he's feeling as confident. Yeah, he's going to switch over to Lucina, and I respect that as well. Just wasn't able to space things exactly how he wanted to. Even you saw a couple of edge guard opportunities where he was just outside of the range to get a forward tilt or something like that to punish with. Absolutely. You know, you have to set your pride aside sometimes. Like, you know, the crowd, everybody at home, they want to see the mark. But Lucina just historically and mathematically has just been more consistent here. Right, we're, man, we're and ultimate. Yeah, and we're happy to see the Lucina too, man. She, she looks good. Look at this Ooh. combo right now, extending off the platform to 61. I mean, hell, just a much better start here. Absolutely. It was the other way around before. That's right. Okay, taking that platform away too. He knows that, you know, sometimes to try to alleviate the pressure. A lot of players will go on that top platform and try to chill, but Lucina's like, uh, have you seen how long I am? This forward air can stretch all the way. Right. Watch yourself. Parry, no grab. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> All right, anyway. Oh, he's going to get this percentage actually brought back to a more even game right here. And I think a little bit was from getting all that ink on him. And then a, I think he had a forward tilt. It just does so much more damage, man. OK, and good coverage. Using the splat bomb there to make sure he gets back towards the ledge of the stage. All right, nice nair right there. Going to knock Impaleo off of him and keep him at the ledge right here. Bomb coming out. Ooh, Ooh. some tricky stuff. How did that not shield poke? It hit know. her legs for sure. Right, and it looked it shield poked in the last game too. It's just like it has a mind of its own sometimes. Right. All right, so are uh, staying alive here instead. Okay, not a lot of ink to work with here though. Wasting a lot of it on the roller, and unfortunately, this stock is looking like it's about to get wasted away too here. Ooh. Like I said, it got wasted away. The dare right at the ledge of the stage. An even stronger start here from MK Lale as we move into game number two. Yeah, he just looks more confident with Lucina in his hands. It's the waifu power up, man. That's right. People, you've heard of like the girlfriend nerf, but the waifu power up, that's that's different. That's right, that power up takes no prisoners. Right, and that great tilt, uh, uh, excuse me, aerial into the forward smash right there. Okay, look at the footwork. Oh, Good oh, stuff, God it, damn. Knowing he would try to air dodge or shield out of the situation, That's and right. instead it's going to land him right into that forward smash. A completely different MK Leo here, man. I'm really appreciating what we're seeing right here. Okay, good stuff. Using his tools and not going for anything too crazy. Just using things that are going to pinpoint Mr. R's movement. He knows that Lucina does not struggle to find kills. Why show my hand by showing all my kill options early on? Let me just figure out ways to kind of stop your movement and force you to some awkward spots. Great. Oh my Damn, gosh, uh, he's punishing every single one of these air dodges. He's going to have to be careful giving those up, man. Starting on a three stock right here. Okay, good stall out. Uses the first swing there of the dancing. Oh! What? Oh no! Oh, he countered. Oh, that's yes. so brilliant. I was like, how did he hit him through that? I get it, I get it. Oh, ah! no ah! yeah. I love this. That's OD. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, I'm, let's, I haven't seen a, a MK Leo. To Mr. R ass looking like that since like uh, it was like the first showdown battle royale. Like Mr. R, uh, he was I think he was down in the set because it's like when MK Leo like first started slapping uh -huh. people up like consistently. Right. And he switched off from whatever character he was playing, probably uh, Sheik, to Bayonetta. And I think like uh, MK Leo he whooped him in a very similar fashion like Oof. that. Like that was that was a spanking. Oof. And this is not looking good for the people that are like, no, Martha's better. 
but uh, the, but, the best uh, player with both those characters. Uh, right, right. No, but that, that means nothing. Like we said, sometimes it's just a spacing issue. We're not going to worry about that. Don't take this set that seriously. All right, here we go. <laughs> Talk to him, Sid. Break game three. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to defend Marth. Right, right. He's so cute. Okay, anyway. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Better watch out, Waddy. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Yeah, Marth walks in right now. Sorry, Waddy. No, anyway. Oh, you're a <laughs> no, let me stop. Let me stop. All right, so anyway, we're going to get some damage on the board here. Switching over to Snake, I just realized. Yes. Blowing himself up right now. Yes, but you know, that's all a part of the meta when you play a character like yes. Snake. You know, you're going to have to blow yourself up to keep characters like Lucina off you. And he's, you know, obviously, you know, obviously not in the lead here, but he looks a little bit more comfortable in this matchup. Uh huh. Yeah, and if he could just get some space in here, maybe he could set something up for us to see. Nice dash attack right here, pulling a bomb immediately, but going to get knocked off the stage again. Okay. Playing really good off the ledge here. Nice. No, okay. Those grenades take a while to explode. He has so much time to pummel that man. Right. That's some Matrix stuff. Okay, there's the up smash. He's going to try to hold him in place right there. Ooh. See, if he does a neutral get up, he'll try to grab him. And of course, if he jumps, he'll get hit with the up smash. But he, he has a stick in. You're dead. He waited out the air dodge so smart to make sure that he was going to be able to get that punish and take the stock with how high up MKLeo was. Too. And you see, like, the minute he put it on him, MKLeo tried to fly into him. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. But since Mr. R flying right to the magnifying glass and then into the blast zone in the deed right here, this guy's obviously playing much more close to the chest. Man, he's like, all that work, all that setup you did, you did the sneaky C4. Oh, I like that. Here's a forward smash. Right. Hold that. <laughs> okay, so even game, once again, going to lay her down Ooh. and get this down air stomp. Okay. Up smash coming through. That's some really good stuff, too. What? How did that? Oh, that was a bomb. Okay, yes. I was like, how did that up smash hit? Man, I really like that combo that we just seen a moment ago. So what a lot of snakes will do is, <clears throat> excuse me, they'll put a uh, grenade behind them, and then they'll grab you. And they'll it forces you which way to roll. It's like, do I want to roll behind and get with the grenade, or do I want to ro roll forward and get hit with the tech chase? Right, and you saw right there, he threw him right into that up smash situation. I think if Kaleo actually di oh. wrong. Oh! Oh, Mr. Him. R! You're a bad man. Okay, but the C4 is Swapped. back on him, though. Watch yeah. yourself. Man, this man is up a stock. It was looking so bad in that last game, but suddenly the character swap, man, from both of them. That's right. Looking good. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, Shields is smart. Yeah, I, and I like that he actually activated it there to stop MKLeo from being able to edge guard him. It uh -huh. slowed him down and forced him into that shield. Right, because when you are upper, or excuse me, not upper, when you're above MKLeo, especially as a character like Snake who just historically struggles to land, he's certainly looking for that. There is another C4. Couldn't quite get the conversion out of it, though, but we'll take all the damage. Nonetheless, first hit near in the force mask. And I'm surprised he only went for a jab on that turnaround instead of swinging another forward smash. Maybe not enough time. Mm -hmm. Either way, got a small punch here. Just trying to bring things back into his favor. Down quite a bit right now. Okay. Forward throw. Nice. Using the up smaster to kind of hold MKLeo in place. Has to go as high as he can. Yeah, he tried for that, but it doesn't matter. Got the back air off the right side. Only down 81%. Not the best situation to be in, but, you know, like you said, Snake sometimes struggling to get in here. That's right. Not the best, but certainly far from the worst. Yeah, but you know, to be fair, he doesn't really need to get in. He's up quite a bit of percentage. All on MKLeo to force his way up. That's right. We're seeing, you know, two sides of uh, his snake being played. Obviously, we're seeing like the, the the trap game come out here from Snake, but we're also seeing him play really well up close and personal, as you see, being able to kind of delay the first hit of forward tilt so he can make sure he finds Ooh. the second hit, holding down the ledge of the stage. He's setting up shot. Yeah, looking so hard to get through, but MKLeo somehow oh. finding his way. Oh, so smart to go high and not get hit by that back air, man. I wish you got. Oh no, you guys can't see Mr. R's face. Shout out to the production. He made a face right there. It looked like he didn't want to turn around with that up tilt. Right. Okay, hey. throws grenade down. Uh oh, and again, always knowing how well to time the forward tilt. That way, he gets one or two of the hits. Oh, <laughs> he tried to counter it, but the second one, I'm gonna come down and slam on him. Mr. R even backed away. He's like, I'll let my bombs do the job. I'm That's gonna be right. over here. Not wow. gonna get hit by a counter or anything. Can we talk about the, the top level mind state that you have to be in to switch off of a character, like to go from uh, Sheik to Inkling and then go from Inkling to Snake? Those are three very, very different very characters different. at high level. And the fact that he's doing it with relative, and I'm saying with relative ease, obviously I know it's anything but that. But for us at home, though, it looks like it's easy. Right. For him he to makes do it, it as look smooth, so easy, that's yeah. right. And That's MPLA, the mark of the on the other hand, you, you saw him get that three stock in the last game, but now he's going to have to make some kind of adjustment for uh -huh. the snake gameplay. And I wonder if he wants to make another character switch, because we know MKLeo is proficient with many characters. Yes, absolutely. Both of these two guys have a lot of characters under their utility belt. And the fact of the matter is that it's all matchup dependent. Earlier in bracket or earlier in pools, you could kind of just go whatever character. You didn't really have to worry so much about the stage counter pick. Yeah. But these two guys right here, these are titans. These are giants. And when they get down on the sticks, man, it ain't going to be nothing pretty. But we do have a character switch. Ooh. We have a wolf. I thought we were going to see the Ike send, but it looks like he threw me for a loop, Yeah, too. I was thinking Ike as well. But, yeah, instead of going for those Nair loops, he's just going to get, you know, Wolf, who actually has a pretty good Nair he can throw out as well. That's right. All right, we got a fair out of the grab right here. Just going to start off strong. Okay. Oh. And I, I actually love this character swap because he has a reflect that he can also utilize now. That's right. And, but that reflect is going to be very matchup de or situational uh, uh, dependent because um, – there's, you always run the risk of Snake 
no matter who they're piloted by, cooking the grenades before they throw them. That way you right. don't even get a chance to reflect them. So hopefully we see some of that. But like you said, the reflector obviously still has some very good uses as well, too. As you see, obviously using reflector off the ledge of stage here to knock back the up smash. Yeah, very true. And smart on Mr. R to hold on to his shield. Once again, just letting the bombs do the work for him while he covers Ooh. himself. Oh, wow. Okay, sir. <laughs> Relax. Yeah, come on, man. All right, smart. Mr. Uh, or excuse me, MK Leo going to go low, but doesn't matter. Going to get up on that C4 and die. Okay. Nice, getting some of the final. I think doesn't wow. backer backer has like a couple hit boxes. I think it's like two or three, man. But nonetheless, that all thing in, lingering either yeah, way. Yeah, it lingers for a, a lingers for a long time. And the backer, very good tool at covering the get up options off the ledge here, especially versus a character like Wolf. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Gonna knock him off the right side with that fair. Activating the C4, possibly just wanted a new one, but it doesn't matter. You're gonna land into an up smash and lose your first stock. Uh, MK Leo not down by too much at all, and he's gonna set up with that long range blaster. That's right. Somehow hey. hitting that through all these bombs. Uh huh. Precise with that gap, man. Really, really good with, with the tool. <laughs> Definitely keep that thing on him, man. All right, but the, the thing about Wolf is that obviously he has to, you know, go in play style. Obviously he can go ham, but I think in order for him to try to close, close his. Uh, 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 what uh, the uh, hell? Uh, uh. What you doing? I think he meant to go the other way, but the question is, why did he not pull back more towards the left? What the? Oh man. Okay, that's just a mind game. He's like, you know what? You can't take my stock. I'll take my stock. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> That's OD. <laughs> oh, I think he wanted to read a roll right there, but not quite going to get it. No punish, though, so he's OK. That's right. The double spot dodge right there. Both players showing each other a lot of respect on the legend stage. Get choked. Choke him again. OK. Actually doesn't go for the second grab. Wants to go for the jab first to make sure uh, he can get another grab set up with ease. Nonetheless, the dash attack, 106% online. Such a bad spot right now. And he actually swung a forward smash. No punish for it, though. And an up smash. This man is going crazy for it, just trying to close out the stock. The Nair. Oh! Wow, the parry into that, too, man. Not worried about it at all. How's he gonna get on this stage? Oh, that was so goddamn smart. He grabbed him so he that it connected. Him. Wow, the brilliance of that play right there. Look, I don't care which type of way my man Mr. R eats his cereal. He he had Wheaties for breakfast, and you can see it in his play style. <laughs> that was nasty. Oh my God, yeah, drinking that milk too strong. Bones, he got the bombs on deck.